How Korra ruins spirits When we see spirits in the last airbender, they are always surrounded with an aura of mysticism. We can't help but to feel intrigued by them and want to know everything of how they work, which is why the series is very careful about what they show us about them. They just give us little drops of information about the mechanics of the spiritual world and its inhabitants, so that every time they appear, it feels like a special occasion. They are like a dessert you may love it in swallow. What it is, but too much of it, and you will end up going. Which is why it's surprising and at the same time it isn't that in Korra we see so much of them up to the point where they lose what it made them special. They are either an open background character which is in contrast with the original design that were very creative or they are a comic relief character. So then, if it is such a bad decision, then why the creators of the series designed to take things route? Well, this becomes obvious when you learn how Korra was made. In contrast to the last airbender which was a very well planned series so much so that before even starting production, they already had in mind important plot points like Suku's redemption arc or that the story would take 3 seasons to be over, each one focusing on how Arn learns a new element in Korra we didn't even think past the first season. Because that was originally going to be it. Yeah, in the beginning, Korra was supposed to be a miniseries, and every season was greenlighted only when the last one ended. So basically every season was going to be the last one on the minds of the staff. That's why the lack of an overarching story, why every season the bad guy changes, the problem changes, and why they did what they did to the spirit. Most likely what happened is that Dimantino and Konezzo, the creators, thinking that this was going to be the last time they were going to have the chance to tell a story based in the world of Avatar in the screen. Remember, it's 2000. Well, Avatar is in the big franchise that is today. The last and really had just finished showing 4 years ago. There were no novels, no canon games, and the promise had just been published a few years ago. There wasn't any extended universe to talk about. We only had the original series, so most likely what happened is that in what they thought as its last chance to give the fans what they had been asking for, they tried to answer as many questions as they could about the lore. Like, who was the first Avatar? Why the Avatar existed? And how the spirits work, but in the way, without realizing they kill what made them special in the first place.